If you're wondering why it's in 4x3, it's because I'm playing on an iPad. Because <laughs> I like a larger screen. Sonic and All Stars Racing So we're looking at, what is this? The Game Boy Advance version? Yes, the uh, Game Boy Advance version of Sonic Drift 2. Alright. Need to update that game title. <laughs> Uh, it should be All Stars Racing Transformed. That's what I set it to. It says Satu Battle. Well, um. I'll fix it. Fuck it. <laughs> anyway. So, hey, signing into Facebook gets you cool stuff. Oh man, I know. Let me sign into the Facebook account I don't have. Now we're gonna go into world tour mode here, and of course, keep in mind you guys are about 30 minutes behind me because of new Twitch policies. Alright. And it looks like. There, so there's Sunshine Coast, Frozen Valley, Scorching Skies, Twilight Engine, and Moonlight Park. I think that's all the standard uh, tours from the actual game. Yes. Yes. Not including Superstar Showdown. Each event has four different difficulties. So first one is obviously... Um, <laughs> what, what the fuck? You have to pay for higher difficulties than easy. Okay. <laughs> But you're well, given rings that allow you to pay yeah, for these different difficulties. Yeah, but fuck it. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and at least get medium here. Go hard. Oh, don't give him money. Don't give him painful. money. It'll encourage them. Well, how now, do you... you start with about 4,000 rings. Um, and I'm going to spend my hard-earned free 3,600 rings to buy gum, because gum is my waifu. No, buy um, Rio Hazuki. Everybody <laughs> wants to see Rio in action right now. Uh, someone pay me uh, the microtransaction cost, and I'll do it. Wait, Wait, unlock this character by playing World Tour mode? Why can't I just pay rings? I have enough rings. <laughs> so you, you have to unlock them and then pay rings on top of that? Okay, that's... Oh, how do you... That's pretty do you, bullshit. Do you get Sonic from the get-go? Yeah, yes. I don't see any unlocks on Sonic, Tails, Amir, or Ulala. I oh. would hope so, because then who are you going to pick to race? So I'll just go with Sonic Joe. for now. And they give you five to unlock because... Five-player mode. Oh yeah, and the uh, slot machine mini game now uh, is fueled by microtransactions as well. <laughs> and I'm don't not like going to spend any earnings on that because I don't need them. <laughs> Imagine if this was one of those games where you were charged just by t like touching a thing instead of actually, you know, yeah, being asked. Whoa! Like, hey, hey, Whoa! You must what in the stay. flying fuck is this? I don't know if you can, you guys can't see this right now, but since I'm playing connected with an HDMI output, it's actually giving me this weird-looking steering wheel controller and also stretching the hell out of the video oh. into 16 by 9, uh, which it shouldn't be. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Here no, I can't. Go. I'm over on stream. You're it's, probably okay in that. Stretching show. everything, and I think the game just locked up. No? no maybe? What the? F God damn it! This is. I don't even. Yeah, well, if, it, if it was able to, like, broadcast video to the TV and just give you a steering wheel on, like, the yeah. tablet itself, that'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's that's just... what it's doing. It's broadcasting on the screen and giving me a steering wheel. The problem is I didn't prepare for that, uh, <laughs> so I'm looking at the Game Capture HD output, which is behind and also frozen for some reason. I don't know if it, you guys Yeah, are the stream frozen. just died, too. Yeah, um... I don't or know what the, is that the stream the or is that the uh... no that's not the stream that is the that is the game uh, yeah that is stuck <laughs> but yeah what, what I'm getting right now is the game on HDMI and the steering wheel on the tablet itself but I actually don't want that as cool as it sounds in practice let me see if there's any way to disable that no there's not well <laughs> shit um, oh just play it as is I guess <laughs> I I can't because the, the first off the game froze. Uh, and second, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell. Should be live again now. So I, I think I got everything sorted out. I had to go hook up HDMI pass through because I was not expecting that HDMI output specific interface. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of cool because it gives me controls on the touch screen but shows the game on my monitor. That would explain when so, uh, we saw that one video from Arcade. Uh, yes, yes, it would it because all the controls are on the actual device, not on the screen. So. Let's go ahead um, and start on, uh, yeah, go ahead and play as Sonic. This menu is so Other modern. Mods. 
Like in the uh, console versions, you know the uh, mods you can unlock for each character? I'm not sure if those are in. It doesn't seem like it. We'll find out. Yeah, it looks Maybe. like they have set stats, because I saw cl uh, rank E, and then this much to rank D. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you can probably just level them up. <laughs> probably oh. through microtransactions. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the... When we get the chance, let's take a look at the roster, and even though it keeps flashing by us. Sure, quick. sure. Double spin, triple spin, oh, All right. how fun. You have to pay so much to just... So graphically, this basically oh. looks like a slightly worse version of the Vita port. It's definitely not a port of the 3DS version. It is the full-fledged uh, All-Stars Racing Transformed engine. Three, two, Which kind of it... bums me out, because that basically means that the 3DS version is still the worst version of the game. <laughs> well, hold on. The Android version might be crap. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, Sonic Dash has like some pretty bad performance, and I kind of uh, got a feeling this game's going to have those same issues, too. It looks so ugly stretched out. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I bet if I moved my iPhone, it wouldn't look stretched out, but... What Effort. can you do, man? What can you do? <laughs> we'll deal. Yeah. Ooh. Screen quality's kind of grainy, too. Yeah, it's... I could probably turn that up if I need to. Let's try it. Let's try a race first, and then, uh... Yeah, I'm in a race right now. I don't know how far you guys are behind me here. Probably about 30 seconds, because we're just getting to the part where we <clears> drive <throat> past the wheels. Uh, owning the race! And you are now in first. This guy's not in German. <laughs> Congratulations! You're experiencing awesome! Stupid announcer. Cool garbage. I think I'm a little... I'm not, like, great. I can... I struggle against S-Class on the full version, but uh, I think I'm a little too good for this easy mode. <laughs> well, this is basically C-Class, and I can see that they have rubber banding on because Tails is never really never leaving you. Far away, yeah. So, okay, you can do tricks. So, how are you, yeah. how are you doing? You, um, you do tricks by swiping on the drift button. Dominate. Okay. Basically, treat huh. the drift button like it's a delight analog stick, and swipe up to do an up flip, so on and so forth. And right now, again, all the controls are on the tablet itself. Right. Yeah. You can't see the controls. They're on my iPad. Um, okay, it's doing this thing where, like, the video output that's going over through HDMI is different than what I'm actually seeing on screen, which is also why you can't see the uh, event complete interface here. I just earned a lot of rings. That's actually kind of encouraging that I earned that many rings. Oh. Because it implies that uh, you don't have to microtransaction the hell out of everything. It, it was only two laps? Yeah, it's only two laps. I think because it's usually the third lap. Bart, Bart and I were talking about this earlier. It's usually yes. the third lap where shit changes. <laughs> um, yeah, there are challenges now right. where it'll make you drive through the water area in a different mm -hmm. challenge. It's right. Ridge oh. Racer style oh. of uh, level uh, variation. And it looks like there's Sonic Dash-esque uh, missions to do, basically. Like, right now it's showing me, like, boat drift. Drift a total of 500 meters in a boat. Drone. Hit an opponent with drone ten times. Blowfish. Hit an opponent with blowfish ten times. Cougar that, sounds like the, that sounds like the generic <laughs> sticker yeah. on their licensed things that they have on the console. Hi, Chie. How are you doing? <laughs> Chie. She's right by the microphone. I don't know if she's going to talk to you guys. Hello. Uh, she had great insight for this game. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next is Water Race, which takes place in the Panzer Dragoon stage. Let's t can we see the characters real quick? Sure, yeah. Let me get to the character roster here. So our character roster, Sonic, Tails, Amy, uh, Ooh La La, Gum, uh, I, ah. <laughs> and we've got Amigo, I BD Joe, uh, Joe Musashi. I don't think I I is in here, is he? No. As, well, as long as Mimi's, well as long as Mimi's there, Mimi's it's all not right. there either. God. So damn we got. It. Let's start from the top. Sonic, Tails, Amy, Ulala, Gum, Amigo, BD Joe, Joe Musashi, Eggman, Ages, uh, Ryo Hazuki, <laughs> uh, Rocket Ralph, Metal Sonic, Knuckles, and Shadow. Dude, this is the worst. <laughs> well, so they basically, the game. They yeah, basically it, cut it out most Sonic. of the Sega roster. And, yeah, it's, yeah, it's mostly Sonic characters now. <laughs> And it doesn't and even have Danica Patrick. I know, God. The the top fucking character. ruined. Well, that it is. doesn't have Yogg's cast. 
So no, you know, no Yogg's cast, uh, no, however many fifty billion characters they added to the PC version. But there nope. is Ryo Hazuki. <laughs> where's where's just Banjo? Fucking at everybody. Where's Banjo? Fucking at everybody. Where's Banjo and Kazooie? <laughs> I have to unlock Ryo Hazuki uh, by completing a full streak of weekly challenge. <laughs> you have to play for a week to unlock Ryo. Yeah, I'm never pl I'm never unlocking Ryo Hazuki. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not that serious. But you can uh, look just, at him there. I'm hey, just gonna uh, keep playing a song. Uh, the Ferrari actually isn't uh... blurred in this one. Yeah. I, I I think it's funny that the cabinet is actually animated. Yeah, that is actually pretty cool. I'll give him that. <laughs> I can't wait till they actually add him into the PC version. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, the consoles. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of weird that they would tease Ryo Hazuki and not use pictures from the iOS version, which... The funniest me. part to me is that, like, they weren't teasing him. It was like, is it a boat? Is it a plane? Is it a car? It's all three! It's out for iOS tomorrow! <laughs> and oh, they don't even okay. mention that, like, oh, it's Ryo Hazuki. I, I, <laughs> I don't know who marketed that, but they're kind of stupid. Get ready! Three, two, one, go! Yeah, there wasn't a way to do a boost start in like the original All Stars Racing for mobile devices since there's no accelerator button. Right, yeah, there's no accelerator button here either. It's just constantly going forward. Ew. I got a you fish. You have to rub the, the touch screen. <laughs> also, we're getting a bunch What's of noise on your end. A bunch of what? I think we're hearing a bunch of noise from the game on your end. Well, I could turn it down again. Owning the race. Firework. The water doesn't look as bad as it did in that video earlier. Earlier, it looked like opaque. Uh, oh, no, for kind of this opaque. level or for yeah, for Afterburner? Level. Oh, okay. I thought, the, it looks yeah, bad again. <laughs> I thought the water looked all right. It, it looks so okay. Oh, here, here it goes. <clears throat> Eey, that's a yeah, water. It's another two-lap race, but only this time you're uh, you're in the Panzer Dragoon level. Oh. Water looks like someone dropped oil all over it. <laughs> yeah. That rainbow sheen. Well, what else are you going to do for, uh, you know... <clears throat> not powered by the Tegra. No, it isn't. Which is why no, it, the Android it's powered by something security. much more powerful than the Tegra. Oh, yeah. But they can't be bothered to actually. Uh, <laughs> A6, I believe? This is A7, actually. The Retina iPad Mini I'm playing on right now. Yeah, so that's an A7. How's the, how's the tilt doing for you? I'm not using tilt. It's all touch controls. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. I wouldn't want to use tilt anyway, because that sounds like it would be completely on fun. Yeah, it sounds watch, like it'd be really disorienting. Yeah, watching out. that video, like that guy just swerving left and right the entire <laughs> length was just. Now, one annoying thing actually that might be causing that um, that you aren't seeing right now is that the analog stick does this really weird thing where it repositions yourself itself according to where you place your thumb. It's like the mm -hmm. analog stick will be there one moment when you touch the screen again, it moves to where your thumb is now. Oh. Uh, which. Sounds like it might be a good idea in, in theory, but it's kind of weird to adjust to in practice <laughs> if you're expecting the analog stick to stay still. A lot of games I've seen do that. I remember Chaos Rings, uh, the Square Enix RPG for iOS was the first game I remember doing that. It seems to be a common thing to prevent people from messing up the touch controls or something. I don't know. It's a thing. Did they make this track shorter? <clears throat> uh, it's no, all it's two the laps, same. But it's the same length. Yeah, it's you just don't go through the uh, air the tunnel. upper path. Yeah. So the the terrain doesn't dynamically change like it does in uh, the regular game. I wonder why they didn't put that in because there's no reason they shouldn't be able to. They did in the Vita version just fine. They probably <laughs> wanted to make this friendlier for mobile play. Oh. Yeah, two laps and yeah. two laps and unchanging. But then that kind of kills the whole Yeah, that really aspect. kills a lot of the game because one of the coolest fucking things in the game is the transforming tracks. Well, <laughs> well maybe if you were to more. play in multiplayer, you would be able to turn on those features. Yeah, I was going to say, do like a normal single race instead of being in World Tour and see what happens. Okay, if you All can right. even do that. Ooh, just Cause 2 is three bucks right It now. should be live, but for some reason my game at Capture HD just locked up. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it didn't. Okay, here it goes again. I think. <laughs> 
just let it right. try and start back up. And no, it's good. We're good. It's I'm still a bit dead. grainy, but uh, it's better. Walking Dead Season 2. Ooh. All right. That's expensive. Well, it just came out, so of course it's going to be expensive. I got. I uh, completed the boat drift mission. I, I drifted 500 meters in a boat. I'm very proud of myself. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, as discussed, let's try a single race and see if that changes anything. Well, the water looks kind of better now. Yeah, especially when it shimmers based on the, the light source or whatever fake light source it's using. Oil water. Grand Prix. Yeah. Right, here we go. Yeah, so we can't you really wonder. do a single race. We can only do uh, World Tour or Grand Prix. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so that's Lame. one of the caveats of getting the mobile version is that a lot of features are just locked down. a wall. I did unlock multiplayer now, apparently, though. I guess it doesn't take very much to unlock. <laughs> what's the what's the weekly challenge stuff do? Is that up yet? Uh, weekly challenge, three days. Um, complete challenges every day and week to win. Keep your winning streak going to get bigger and better prizes. So, Looks event like one, uh, do Sunshine Tour. Um, wait, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, just get first place on the Sunshine Tour battle race as Sonic. <laughs> And you get 1,500 rings. I saw a Dreamcast. Dang. It's like they remembered. <laughs> I re I, it really weirds me out that this menu looks like this is like the Xbox One version where it has like, oh, you could do all this. Just do it right now. Yeah, it's just this modern design. It's already. really weird that they changed the design of the UI so much for this version. <laughs> I mean, they did the same thing for the original All Stars Racing when they yeah, ported that. Yeah, but that was That's also some Metro shit. shit. So yeah, What's Metro. The, what was the ages one? Um, let me go check the. Uh, that was like two minutes ago. I was there. Yeah. So let me go check again. <laughs> um, Can you do one now? I think Frick so. Yeah. Let me go ahead. Uh, yeah, ages um, gets you four stars, whatever those do. And it's apparently do a boost challenge with seven checkpoints on Dragon Canyon. Uh, medium oh, difficulty. Right. Sure, oh, I probably can. Medium. Let's go. medium. On medium. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna cash in. Cash in your chips. Gotta pay for. I'm not spending anything on this. What are you talking about? <laughs> Actually. Happens if you actually run out of money. Well, uh, well, you can still do the easy challenges and kind of boost your uh, rings. Yeah, way. yeah. It looks like, like I said, you get quite a few rings from each sixty-seven hundred, as you can see. We're oh, it's mirror me. track too. Oh shit. Ooh. So it makes me wonder if the Android version is going to support Chromecast uh, to be able to stream video and then have like all the touch controls on the tablet itself. It's probably not Chromecast, but maybe if you output on HDMI on there too. Mm, I've barely seen any apps take advantage of the fact that I would have the HDMI plug in. Like for you like buy videos. On iOS, but this one did apparently. <laughs> well, for like videos. Um. It would like output to the TV, and like all the controls would just be on the on the tablet for Android devices. But that's but that's when I have the HDMI plugged in. I don't think this game is free. Control. No, this is like no, this six dollars. Oh, yeah. okay, so it is not. It's like six forty-five is what I thought it was. So it's no, five it's a... bucks, and you still have to pay to unlock more things. Well, not well, entirely. Right, not yeah, you can to. earn them through rings, and like I said, it doesn't seem that bad in terms of how many rings you earn. It's not like, oh, you could never actually make enough rings to buy things, it seems like. Oh, come on, you can do it. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm, I have three uh, checkpoints left. I don't know how far behind point. that is for you guys, but I have three left. And there's four for us, you just crossed it. Yeah. Again, Twitch showing its uh, right. amazing capabilities. I don't know why they messed it up so much. I used to like having the whole five second buffer. And that was it. Now it's 30 seconds. Yeah, on it's, it's higher difficulties, I imagine it's much harder. I know on the PC version, on like medium, it's it's pretty lean. Oh yeah. Well, I, I just did A class and S class all the way through because I figured there's no point in trying to go back to these things. 
Uh, so, like, the best way to do it would be do all the challenges. On B. Well, not, not, I mean, I'm, wait, well, do that, or try to do, like, A rank challenges for, like, A set path, and don't unlock anything until you, uh, get to Superstar Showdown, which is the last oh. challenge set. And that's when you get the S class challenges. Well, what I did when, on my first playthrough is I did everything on B, and when I unlocked S, I started playing on S, and then just went through there. Because you have to replay almost all the world tour anyway. Yeah, you might yeah, as well just do it on S class. <laughs> I'm not and, ashamed and to admit, I, I still kind of suck at S-Class. I can get my ass kicked pretty hard sometimes in races. Not, uh, not like, really bad. I love S-Class. <laughs> I, refu I refuse to race in anything other than S-Class. S-Class kind of shows the fact that this game still has some serious rubber banding issues that people kind of forget, forget about, but, you know. But it's not too serious, because, I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky, but every single time like I'm getting my ass kicked in S-Class, I get that lucky all-star, and then all <laughs> hell breaks loose, and I manage to get into first place. It probably depends on the level that you pick, like, uh, the House of the Dead level is, like, total crap in, like, the last half. Especially, <laughs> oh, and the Skies of Arcadia level is terrible when you're on the last lap, because there's barely anything that'll let you catch up, and Weekly all the items are complete. useless. You got a crap ton of stars. You unlocked <laughs> Saz. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's the new secret character. I, I, I really would like to hear this he has as a playable character just to yeah, screw it's like, people. Yeah, like, guys, we've got three new uh, DLC characters for Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. You know, we did the poll, and we heard you guys. We've got Ryo Hazaki. We've Hazaki. got Sagata Sanchiro. And yes. everyone's favorite, you know, Go the one you've all been asking for. Go Go da 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 Zaz! <laughs> From Sonic da. Lost World. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you like a drag! Forget it, I'm done. That, that's it. <laughs> so you can't do multiplayer right now? I can. I don't know if there's anyone, you know, who's there to do multiplayer since this game came out about an hour ago and you have to Is unlock it. it. Uh, yeah. It is 3 o'clock in the morning on the East Yeah, Coast. and it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so... We could try oh. multiplayer online. Um, so all you in the chat right now, go buy it immediately and download it. <laughs> yeah, the leagues are uh, from in difficulties. They start from Starter League to Master System to Mega Drive. What the fuck is a Mega Drive? I'm in America, goddammit. it. Uh, oh. The Saturn and the Dreamcast League. Ooh, that's 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 kind of a nice touch. I'd be in the Dreamcast for League for some reason. All the both time. Saturn and Dreamcast League are expert. I don't understand the distinction, but okay. <laughs> No, oh, you you uh, you can even race against people locally too, which is also yes. nice. I imagine it's some kind of like a Bluetooth multiplayer or something. Huh. Uh, play now, auto match. See if there's anybody here available to actually play against. I own all of those systems except for the massive system. You own the checkered flag. <laughs> yes, that's my it favorite. Sega it has Luigi on it. That's why the second logo is green. Fight. Hmm. I'm uh not sure that anybody is actually playing this game. Right now, am I? <laughs> so it looks like it only goes up to four people multiplayer yeah. wise. Four that's, people online. That's kind of a shame, but it's, it's understandable. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think anyone's fine. <laughs> there wasn't an error. I chose to disconnect game, <laughs> but okay. Let's go back <laughs> to world error. tour mode. The right. error is you. <laughs> let's do more world tour stuff, yeah. Uh, continue, continuing on easy. Can I buy gum yet? I want to play as gum. No! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you have bought Sega Sanshiro. You bought his ass. <laughs> Alright. Is that where, uh, I'm sure my microtransactions are, yeah. We, you see the microtransaction on. Yeah, I'll definitely go check that out after this boost challenge on the Afterburner stage. God, there's so many so many say, Sonic characters in the roster, which kind of bothers But it's, Kids love Sonic, and Harrison loves Shadow. What? Harrison no. loves Shadow. 
<clears throat> so um, the graphics uh, on the Afterburner State, I really hate them. It looks terrible. The lighting is non-existent. Um, Aww. Uh, yeah, level. it's it's it actually looks really nice on the console versions and the uh, Vita version on which this port seems to be based, but they they really butchered the visual effects here. There's just thunderstorms going on right now. That's why it's dark. <laughs> oh yeah, I got I got to know how the. Uh, I want you to turn on tilt controls and try oh, to God, fly I don't through the level. Because <laughs> I don't even know don't like, even what the dead zone is. Think about what that would be. <laughs> oh, you you got you got to test it for the world to know. She, she I hated. My I, I absolutely hated uh, how it switched to airplane controls after driving, so I had to disable it and put it as normal tilt. So up is up uh, and is down. Oh, uh, transform to, boost. I I tried, I but it, it didn't work out. <laughs> no, it did. Oh, you, you got, got it. it. You're, I'm talking about something else that will happen in just a minute. You'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Especially when the camera clips to the bottom. Yeah, that was As nice. we just saw. This is an interesting boost challenge. I would not have expected this level to have this. Because I don't remember having to do this. I I think there is a boost challenge on the console version for the stage. You're right, but it's completely different. Hmm. I don't think it's that different, although it's probably going to have different challenges, like this is I, probably not the same. Or am I thinking the ring race, because the ring race just completely changed the level. Yeah, I think you're thinking Yeah, the ring the race, race is the one that where the, the environment l lets you go through, like, uh, inner bays. Yeah. Yeah, the ring race. I love that, and I, and I hate awesome. that that's not an actual transformation in this stage. Yeah. Should have been. Maybe it was one of those things where they planned it and then they didn't work out, so it just made it a challenge. Maybe. Because it looked pretty difficult to go. Like, sort of like normal players. Yeah, it looked very elaborate as well. <laughs> it seems like it's probably a lot more work than just for a single boost mission or something. So it might have been <laughs> something they were planning on actually making part of the level and scrapped it. Anyway, I beat Boost Challenge. I got uh, about 800 rings from that. Now you I wouldn't buy things. I wonder if, like, you can get additional rings if you pay for the higher difficulty challenges. Probably. Is that what happens? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Let's do it for science. Go all in. Do hard mode. God, I... No. <laughs> Let's go to yes. the store here first, actually. Um, oh, all right. Shop we'll help. Eventually. In the shop, you can buy stars. Upgrade to the VIP edition. Oh, VIP edition. Okay, so what? free races forever. For $9.99, you get... It looks like you basically unlock everything. <laughs> Make all events free to enter and replay on all difficulties forever for nine ninety nine. So for fifteen dollars, you get the you can just play the entire game as is, which I guess it's okay if you don't mind. So basically, you're paying twenty uh, twenty bucks. Yeah, another ten bucks will get you immediate access to Gum, Amigo, BD Joe, uh, Joe Musashi, and Eggman. Uh, Four ninety nine will get you Metal Sonic and Ralph. Uh, and another four ninety nine will get you Shadow and Knuckles. <laughs> okay, so you don't even get, you don't even get Ralph and Metal Sonic immediately. That's that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's oh, they're boss characters. Yeah, boss, boss characters. characters. Back. Because Ralph was the boss of Fix It Felix, remember? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what about the, Eggman? Convert your <laughs> but it looks like there's stars. slots for others. Oh, and you they put. The Sonic assholes and their uh, their own wow, thing. Wow. So let's see. Five, five, six, ten. Five, five, ten, ten. It's 30. ten bucks for the character pack. The <laughs> the initial character pack. So it's thirty five bucks in total to unlock everything. No, it's you. And then the tracks. That's a forty five. No, it's ten bucks. It's like fifteen just to get the entire game unlocked. Is so, that's what the free for everything? No, the nine ninety nine doesn't get you characters. Just events. So it oh. is like 45 and total yeah. to unlock everything so yeah, it's, right it's off the bat. It's 5 bucks oh. for the game, 10 more bucks, so 15 bucks for all the courses, then another 10 bucks, 25 bucks for more characters, and then another 10 bucks for all the characters. So 35 bucks in all for everything. That's disgusting. It's now. pretty <laughs> sad, yeah. <clears throat> Fortunately, like I said, it seems like I'm earning rings fairly quickly, uh, so it's not like you need to unlock um, or pay to unlock this stuff. No. But I mean, if you have money to burn, it's yeah. <laughs> I just this is weird to see games them. that, you know, it's weird to see games that don't originally have these uh, 
pre premium type of models until like they have like a mobile mobile version developed and then suddenly the game just drastically changes. I mean, it was weird because there was a whole fucking year between the original, you know, console and PC release of the meet its launch too. So now, yeah, that's what I was saying. They all did not make that mark. They missed the mark. So now we're doing a drift <clears> challenge <throat> here in a seaside hill. I don't remember there being a drift challenge on the stage in the original game. Was there? For Seaside Hill, uh, I, there probably was. Like, there, there's so many challenges that I just kind of lost track of, like, what <laughs> is what. Fair enough. I just did them all, and I never want to do them again. Yeah, and that was, honestly, even the original version of this game is kind of, eh, with how you actually had to unlock characters and whatnot. Um, um, Ages was the only annoying one. Yeah. I still haven't unlocked Ages. <laughs> it looks like they made this drift challenge much easier since the, uh, the drift patterns are much wider compared to the console versions. Uh, that's how it is on C class. Yeah, this is oh, easy okay. to remember. <laughs> Tell me, man, go hard. Or go and on S and on S class, it's like super slim. Yeah. Checkpoint. Yeah, so you either need to get really good at drifting or get a character that's got high handling, like a Mimi or, or Tails. There's no Mimi in this game, nope. so uh, you're screwed. <laughs> Well, what will you do now in the in the Android version without your delicious meme? I'll hack her in. <laughs> Just give me all the assets. I'll do it myself. The character choices are honestly really weird. Like, why is why is Gum in the game but not Beat? <laughs> yeah. Well, Gum. Well, Need more not girls. Even, Gum's more. not even the leader in uh, Jet Set Radio Future. Or is Beat? No, Beat. Well, Beat's the renegade in Future, but. Beat is the leader of the GGs in the original game. Yeah. And it looks like you get the classic levels too. Well, some of them probably. It's hard. It's hard to tell like what levels have actually made it in mm -hmm. uh, this version of the game. I'm pretty sure like only like most of the tracks have made it in, but not all of them. Yeah, some of these characters, like Ryo Hazaki, you have to uh, Hazuki. Sorry, you have to unlock by completing a week of weekly challenges. Um, and fuck it. <laughs> so Ralph, Metal Sonic, Knuckles, and Shadow, you have to buy. Which is like, wow. Period. Oh. What the fuck? Well, it says unlock this character early. Maybe they're gonna do that Sonic Dash bullshit where like over time you can add more characters. Oh yeah, did you see the the leaked Sonic Dash roster? Right. Yeah, I really want to play as Rouge the Bat, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so, you know, here's. You're, you're trying to unlock Silver now. Your next character is going to be Rouge, and your last character is going to be the ever exciting Cream. Oh, man. I love Cream. They've gotten worse and worse with each one. I think I think they should have just stopped that Blaze. Great, too. GA is the tab, my boy. I just thought you all should. Oh, oh let's, let, let's get Silver and. <laughs> cream. Oh, yeah, that was like. And Rouge, how, how exciting. So what happens when you try to spin these things? You got a star, you should totally use one of them. I should. You get a triple spin. I will on our next sure. race here. Now All we're right. doing the Samba the Amigo course from the original game. Samba! Samba! Samba the Amigo! I wonder if my roommate's gonna let me play Xenoblade on his, his game, on his Wii U, rather. He has his GameCube and his Wii U back there, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take Xenoblade and I'm gonna take Skies of Arcadia with me. Well, in that case, you just have it on the gamepad while he plays something else. I don't, I don't think the Wii U works quite that way. <laughs> yes, it does. You can play Wii games on a Wii U tablet, but you have to use Wii remotes. Well, that's fine because I don't think it has motion controls. It just has the. You can use a classic controller too, so you're you're fine in that regard. Yes. I'm just trying to think how I was playing Xenoblade because I haven't played it in a while. I only got to like a part of that guy. I got to the first town. I ran out of the first town. I killed a bunch of enemies by the first town, mostly bees. I I explored a little further away from the first town and saw the enemies were freakishly strong, so I ran away from there. And then I ran back to the first town. And 
I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm still in the first town just by my account right now. You know, I gotta say, uh, for touch controls, especially considering they're touch controls I'm not even looking at the screen to use, it seems pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did fuck up there, that that was my own fault for when I paid attention. <laughs> well, I assume, uh, like... So let's see, Master Emerald. Hello there. PG Lombia. What's he saying? Uh, he wants to contact Hardlight to put unlockable songs in Sonic Dash, for the love of God, please. <laughs> the, he'll they'll, make you, they'll make you pay for those. Uh, you, words. you can do custom soundtracks, just use the music app on your phone. <laughs> Mute the game and put the custom soundtrack on. Well, I know in a lot of games, at least on iOS, um, if you have the music app going, it just doesn't play sound in the game. Well, what I do is I don't really listen to the game at all, so I just have my headphone plugged into my computer and I play. So I don't have to hear that. Yeah, I, really I crap. usually just play Sonic Dash on mute regardless. <laughs> Because really, really crappy Seaside Hill music. My hat's off to Sumo for make basically trying to retain as much of the game on mobile devices as possible. Yeah, this like, is... this looks about on par with the Wii U version, too. Uh, well, l worse than the Wii U version. There's, like, even less detail. So this track is know... three laps, but it's, you know, a classic track. Right. I don't know if uh, <clears throat> you read what he asked you. So it's like, is Sonic a bit more Cyan than normal? Or is video, video codec? Because uh, he's also saying the yellows look a little orange or reddish. I'm not sure, honestly. Um, you're just getting direct video output from my iPad. I'm not doing any color correction or anything, so <laughs> we'll see what you get. So I guess it just looks like that. Then it must be the style of the graphics. Yeah, I, and because uh, everything else looks kind of washed out too. Yeah, barring the the compression that's going on with the uh, your video codec, but you know. That shouldn't affect color too much. No. Really. no. It's hard for me to say exactly because I'm also uh, playing this on my monitor, which is not very well calibrated. Uh, so everything looks really washed out and weird to me anyway. It looks fine when you're in a dark area, but when you enter light areas, it looks a little weird. Is it just this track? Have you noticed it on like other courses or? I've not noticed it until he brought it up now. Yeah. We'll find out. To me, it looks about on par with uh, it's too easy. the Vita version. Like, it's... I mean, it looks... Again, it just looks not as quite as good as the Vita version. And... Survived Flippy! <laughs> yeah, it's, like it's clearly a port of the Vita version, but scale back just a bit. Um, which is much better than the DS version yeah. that we got with uh, the original. The DS version should never be bought or played by anyone unless you hate that person. God, that's that's such a shame, though. Like, they it's had a, they had a Mario Kart Seven killer and they screwed it up. <laughs> yeah, well, it it just kind of bothers me that it has a lot of like really, it's like weird, not just weird physics issues, but like some of the uh, like you. You're supposed to be able to do like transform boosts when you go through those rings, but if you try to do tricks through the transformation rings in the 3DS version, sometimes the game just kind of decides whether or not you've uh, collided into something and would give you a stunt fail, which yeah. makes no sense. Oh, start boosts are part of the slot game now. If you want to start boost, you have to play the slot game. I just used the uh. star and I got a blowfish power up and two start boosts, so I got a second well, you level get, start boost. We can get boosts uh, in the original game too. Uh, you have to pay money if you want to go that <laughs> route. Pay rings at least. Get ready, Ringu. Oh, yeah, I want to see what happens. This looks pretty gross. <laughs> I want to see what happens because apparently you can win more than one item to use when you uh before you start a race. I don't touch my mic there. Okay. Because when we saw that one video, it looked like that person won a blowfish in an all-star move to use whenever. I'd like to win a blowfish. Who got a fish? Pufferfish. Who got a fish? Sir, this is a family stream. Family stream for a family video game. Yeah, it's kind of really bothering me how much the graphics are downgraded compared to the Vita version. 
because there's really no reason it should be this bad except for the slower end devices, I guess. I just... I'm just oh. waiting for what happens with the Android version, because mm -hmm. if the performance on that is terrible, then... Well, yeah. does this game operate on lower... I need to check uh, the system requirements and see what the minimum requirement for that is. Yeah, because maybe it's purposely downgraded so, the, so I, like the lower level or the last gen iPhones and I and iPod touches can play. I would well, if I bought the based first... on the graphics, that the absolute lowest that could run this is probably the 4S. Oh. Uh, so if I have the original that, iPad, no. will that work? First generation iPad, God, oh, no. <laughs> you can't oh, even get that thing on anything past iOS 5. Whoa, bitch. And what is what is it that you're running on right now? Uh, Retina iPad Mini iOS 7. So the newest news Well, iPad minis are less powerful than the most modern. The new one is not really. <laughs> uh, the iPad uh, Air and the new mini are both A7. It's a very slight right. difference in performance. The Air is slightly. That's what I get for not caring about the family of iPad i devices. Because I think. All I know is when I when the, they were talking about the A7 at the the show. I started drooling when they were like, it's the first mobile 64-bit processor. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. Yeah, the thing is, it's, it's still a dual-core processor, but it's, uh, both cores together get the same performance as four cores on other devices. Um, and since most apps are only one or two threaded anyway, it's actually basically double performance for most things. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, now that I think about it, uh, since this is like their latest, their latest mobile release of a Sega game, uh, Sega's been trying to make some of their other mobile games for free now, like House of the Dead Overkill Lost Reels is now free on iOS devices, and of course Sonic Dash was made for free on Android. Yeah, they pulled that shit it. with Sonic Dash and Sonic Jump, it was, you, you had to pay for it like the first month and then they made it free. <laughs> Which yeah. Thank you, Sega. I wanted to play it again. I was, I was thinking it was kind of bullcrap that I look at the news today and I see, hey, uh, so Rayman Jungle Run is free on iOS. And I go, ooh, look over on the Android store. Nope. Whoa. Nope. I can just buy an all-star move mid-race. Okay. <laughs> well, that's bullshit. Wait, you buy an all-star move in the middle of a yeah. race? For one star, you just tap this button, it gets you an all-star move. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the fucking race. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Pay your that's way to victory. Thank that's God. That's not broken at all. <laughs> that's terrible. So you just amass stars in <laughs> All Star. Just max out your credit card and you'll be the winner. Yeah. Like even even if it's one of those things where like you don't have to pay to win, you get a lot of advantages if you pay. <laughs> and it's. It doesn't seem like that there's a limit for how many stars you earn from these uh, from these challenges. I wonder if there's Wait. like um, I wonder if you so, can do that so in that... multiplayer races or not. Because if you can do that in multiplayer races, that's total bullshit. <laughs> if you could do yeah, it in single this makes player races, okay, but <laughs> if you keep extending your all star, does that mean we can actually hear Metal Sonic's full all star theme this time? Because <laughs> they always cut out the they always cut out the good part. <clears throat> have to actually unlock Metal Sonic, which apparently costs money right now, because yeah, uh, that's not a big move. Target beat! Finish! And yeah, so you'll notice, like, like we were talking about earlier, okay, like, wait. the flight part of this stage was not in the race earlier, but it was in this mission here, so... Did you get a stunt failed when trying to do a stunt? I don't... Yeah. Did I? I don't know. Why? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, that happens if you try and do a trick too quickly, I've noticed, because I try and do that on the PC version. And I had a moment where my computer decided to go nope, <laughs> and just went into full task mode. So when I, when I was trying to do tricks, like it did a trick, and I just started messing around. They're like, "Let me see how this works." I hit the I hit the stick again. If you hit it, quote unquote, too early, mm -hmm. uh, you'll backfire the engine. Oh, by the way, we've only got a one more race here before we beat Sun Shining Coast Tour. So let's go ahead and beat do the it. Game. In, uh, in one night. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do a triple spin here. 
Hang on, I've missed all this. Is it even is it even pay to play ish in the middle of a goddamn race? Yeah. Oh, I gotta see what the rewards are. Uh, I got a star I boost, guess, a I hot guess rod it... power up, and I get two times for this come one. On, expert! Oh, no, come on. No, sorry. I guess it kind of is, uh, Mr. Shadow TG, because you can just keep using your stars to use all star moves in the middle of a race. Yeah, and it looked like you could do more than one because after I used it once, the button came back. <laughs> in fact, let me go ahead we and do it right it. now. <laughs> Start the race with an all-star move. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> 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 First place. This would be great for your penny and stocking music mod. Oh. oh. Yes. I wish, wish I could do that. You could mod the fonts. No, you can't. You probably could. I could probably. because I have ways that I have a developer account. Um, and it's just be a matter of resigning the package. But... Uh, first off, I have to be able to... First off, I don't know what format the audio is in. It might be ADX. Uh, it's uh, likely ADX. I know Sonic 4 Episode 2 for iOS did not use the same ADX format the PC version did. It was some other thing that we don't have pre-made conversion tools for. Well, if now I can probably just uh, do the same on the Android version, because Android's super lenient about how you do mods. Yeah, I'm sure you it's can easily mod the Android version. In fact, I need to get something from you, Bartman. I want Sonic 4 Episode 2 Tegra's uh, data file so I can take a look and see if that uses ADX. <laughs> oh, yes. Dominating. You can totally get this off your SD card down. and send that to me. It's not stealing. I don't I have an Android tab, I just want to look. It's for research. Mm -hmm. uh, Sonic 4 Episode 1 doesn't work on a Nexus 7 for some reason. I, just, I installed it and then it just went to a black screen and did nothing. They'll fix it. No, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which makes me sad because I picked up episode two because it was like a buck. And now I can't play episode metal, so I'm upset. Episode two is still broken on iOS 7, by the way. They've been promising an update since iOS 7 came out. Still waiting. Um, It'll probably be iOS 8 again? by the time it gets, they get the update out. Stop, not coming in high enough on that to get a <laughs> And yeah, I don't trust any of the things right. <laughs> uh, mobile Division, which is pretty much SOA. Sorry, SOA, but... We love you. You really could, you really could step your game up if you put the notches. But we were promised all this mobile support and all my legacy purchases will be protected. Well, we're apparently going to get Sonic 3 by Taxman, just by that hint at the end of Sonic 2. Either that or they just really are hoping. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, they're just going to go back to Sonic Jam and it'll be like ROM packages and a really bad emulation wrapper. Which is what the iOS versions were before the Taxman update. <laughs> What was that? I, there were iOS versions of Sonic 1 and 2 before the Taxman version. Uh, and of course, oh, okay, they were yeah. the Taxman versions with free yeah. updates to that, thankfully. Uh, but they were really bad. <laughs> yeah, because they, they were Java ports, I believe. No, they were emulated. No. Was by some yeah, they guy, were there was, he, ha he has a website and a name and whatnot. I don't know who it is off the top of my head. He basically just ported Genesis Plus, I think. <laughs> um, awesome. iOS. I wonder if he would have used Genesis. Insist. We're going way back now. Yeah. That was my preferred emulator of toys back on my old compact Rosario with an original Pentium. That reminds way, me when uh, way Konami... Way back in the day, it was Genesis versus Kega. <laughs> Konami put out a collection on PC that had Castlevania and I think Contra games, like the NES versions of those games, in an emulation wrapper for PC. I've got to look that up now, because, man, like, I'm just remembering all these stupid collections that came out, like, in the early 2000s, when people realized, oh, we could bundle all our games together and sell it for uh, a pittance. Yeah, we just, we just throw all our all our, em our ROMs into a, into a folder, we put an emulator shell, and then whenever we design a nice little GUI. Super jump. And, and there you go. Yes, Konami Collector Series, Castlevania and Contra for PC. Amazing. You can buy it brand new for 80 bucks. <laughs> Speaking of Castlevania, I'm just going to take a quick moment to plug... What was that name of that game again? 
Baldus Story, Abyssal City. It's on sale right now on Steam, 374. We can check what my off. battery level is on this thing. 74%. We got plenty of time. Let's go back. All right. Well, how, mu how much do you want to play of this game? Uh, well, we just beat the first tour. I want to at least get to a course that isn't fucking Sonic or Panzer Dragoon or Afterburner. Because <laughs> I'm really mm -hmm. tired of those courses. <laughs> only, reason I'm, only reason I'm plugging the game is because it plays like Symphony of the Night. Ooh. So there you go. All right. So my right. reward is Dragon Cup. What? <laughs> and hey. w w wait, where is this interface taking me? What is it? What is even happening? Why is it telling me I unlock multiplayer? I already unlock multiplayer. I just went to play it earlier. I don't even fucking. Let's go to Frozen Valley. <laughs> oh my God! It's Panzer Dragoon again. Are there only four fucking courses in this game? Well, maybe. Oh, there's there's a race on whatever the Casino Sonic track was. It's in Scorpion yeah, Sky. Casino Park. Yeah. God damn it. It's high. All we want to do is see Sky Sanctuary. Yeah, exactly. Why do you guys that's repeat even on here. the stage is so much. Well, we got limited space, man. Come on. Not that limited. God. <laughs> you can make an iOS game like 2 gigabytes, I think, is the maximum. That's plenty of space. Pretty sure the Vita cartridge is smaller than that. <laughs> or at that big about, anyway. I don't even feel like doing a fucking ring race on the Panzer Degree stage right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform for iOS. It's like uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform, except it's for iOS and all that entails, aka uh, microtransactions <laughs> and weekly challenge bullshit. And do you think it's Star's possible Rage. to plug in like a? Do you know if there's a way to plug in a game controller? Did yes, it, say it that did anywhere? say in the App Store description that it does support game controllers. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't have one to test that with. Uh, I imagine it uses the new iOS 7 API, so you need one of those new fancy... I think Logitech and Moga make compatible controllers, and there's more on the yes. way. Uh, they're, they'll cost you like an arm and a leg. Yeah, I think it's one. like fucking $99 for a Moga controller for yeah. iOS, and fuck <laughs> that. I saw those at Best Buy, and I was like, you know, maybe that would be interesting for games I play on iOS, and I saw it was $99, and I said, no! <laughs> No, it would not be interesting. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform for iOS. Um, yeah, it's a game. Um, now you can see all the other fucking <laughs> Sonic games I have on iOS. I'd like to play Sonic it's 1 or Sonic out. 2, but there's a bug in Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 when you play uh, on iOS over HDMI uh, where the sound is completely fucked. Like, terribly. <laughs> So Good job, can't tax do that. Man. I'm sure you can tell Taxman oh, that. Taxman's he'll be like, already seen it in the thread. It wasn't just me who yeah. pointed it out. And he was like, there's something... Like, Sonic CD works fine. He said there was some change in like what API uses for audio between CD and then 1 and 2. And it sounds like some buffer is getting filled at like half the rate or something. I don't know. I also like how well, the name for of the game is us. cut off here on the home screen. It's just Sonic Trans... 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 <laughs> Like, all the other games, they playfully, like, Sonic 4 Ep 1 and Ep 2 to kind of get around it. But no, they, they just said, fuck it, it's Sonic Trans... <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Well, because <laughs> where are you going to shorten it to? Uh, Sonic Trans? ASRT? Trans <laughs> just Sonic like Transforming. everyone else does. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for showing us this port no on iOS. No problem. Thanks so much for watching, and, uh, you guys. Um, if you want to buy it, it's four ninety nine on the App Store. I'm, it should be on Android soon if it's not already. Probably for the same price. Yeah, um, still waiting on Android here. Yep. So yeah, well, thanks. If you want to get it'll it, it'll be awesome. here by midday. Though. <laughs>